Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Starseed Showdown. Today is Sunday, August 28th, 2022, and today we have Sama. Uh, how's it going, Sama? Good, good. it's good. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having me. me. Yeah, so to start off with, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? All, All right. right. So, so Sama Kataro, this is, is a anonymous, anonymous name, name, right? It's not, not my real name. name. And, and I created, I created this, this to be able, able to share my message online. online. And, and I've been doing this for a little, little bit more than a year now. But, but before, before that, I had a life, a life of spiritual, spiritual experiences. experiences. So, so it was about 22 years ago it started with my, my first experiences. experiences. And then, then I, I had like three uh, near-death near experiences within five, five years that really, really opened up my perception to the spiritual world. And that was really chaotic. It uh, messed up my whole life. life. So, so I, but but my, my career, I stopped, stopped my career and tried to figure, to figure out what was going, going on. So, so then, yeah, for 20, 20 years, years I was really searching, searching to find, find answers, answers how things. things. And, and then I found, I found some answers, answers and now I just cruise, cruise around, around trying to stay in sync with, with the creation, creation you know, in, in the, the flow. flow. Yeah. yeah. So... To start off with, uh, maybe could you tell us uh, one of your first experiences? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so, so many. many. Uh, uh, um, um, maybe, maybe I'll take the one. Because, because one of the bigger one. Uh, it was uh, when I did a uh, Vipassana course, that's 10 days without speaking. So I did that in India about 20 years ago. And then uh, it's like 14 hours of meditation per day and no speaking. And you can't have any books, no recorders, nothing. So then the seventh night there, and then I couldn't sleep and the whole... Uh, spiritual, spiritual world opened, opened up to me. So, so I was, I was just seeing all these frequencies, and um, um, it, was it was scary and fantastic at the same time. time. And, and I was asking the teacher the next day what, what was going on. He said, said, yeah, it's, it's just stuff coming up. up. Don't, Don't worry. Just, just breathe. breathe. So, so I was trying to do this, but, but uh, uh, it, it changed my life to, to see these frequencies everywhere. So when you say that the spiritual world opened up to you, um, what do you mean by that? Like, what do you mean by seeing frequencies? Like, did you see lights? Did you see entities? Did you have communication of any kind? Uh, now, my, my perception, perception is very frequency-based, frequency so it's, it's like, like everything has a frequency, frequency, and whatever, whatever you focus, focus on, you can, can sense, sense their frequency, frequency. so, so sense, sense their, their quality. quality. So, so it's, it's been, been like this most, most of the time, time. So, so even, even when I communicate, communicate with, with uh, people, people um, living or dead or whatever. It's for, for me, it's frequencies. And, and it's just more like me reading the signals, signals rather than I don't, I don't see shapes. shapes. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, shapes. shapes I see. But, but not like, like uh, bodies like that. I see, I see more shapes, shapes and frequencies, and I feel them. Um, um, information uh, in each frequency. So this is what took some time then to be able to 
how, how to zoom in to, to one frequency and then, and then change to another frequency. And this, and this is what I call passive and active, active focus. focus. So, so if you go into meditation, meditation right, then, then you have passive focus. focus. That's, That's when you move your focus, focus to something, you do something. something. And, and then, then, but then, but then when, when you're active, active you, you can't see anything. anything. So, so then, then you need to switch, switch to a passive focus. focus. Then, then you see what, what it is there. there. And, and then, but when, when you see this, then you, then you need to go to active, active focus, focus again. So, so you can then zoom in to things, and then, and then you can zoom out, like a group, group of people, people, and then you can zoom in to one, one person, person in the group, and, and you can zoom, zoom in even more to, to, the, to, to an organ, organ in the person. person. And you, or you can zoom out. Uh, and, and it's all, all about this passive, passive and, and, and active, active focus, focus for me. This, this is just, just my experience of it. Yeah, yeah I, like I like that. that. And, and you mentioned, mentioned the spiritual, spiritual world. world. Just, just, you know, you know and, and you and, and I had a chat on your podcast, podcast which, you know, I think towards the end of the show, I, I want to ask some questions about that. that. It's, it's the Bitcoin, Bitcoin Consciousness Podcast. podcast. And you mentioned, you mentioned the spiritual, spiritual world, world there, too. Can you just kind of define what, what that is for us? us? And I think, I think there's a lot of people who have, have no real conception of that, where they, they hear those words and don't really know what that is. Can you just kind of define, define that, that and then we can go, go from there a little? Yeah, yeah sure. Um, so, so it, it, was, it is the physical world. And then, and then it's this, this underlying, underlying world. world. Where, where all the, the programming, programming is. So I call it the blueprint of this reality. reality. It took, it took me a while to figure out which one was the blueprint and which one was the effect. effect. But, but actually, it, <coughs> the spiritual, spiritual world is the same. Or the, or the world of frequencies. This, this is like the blueprint. blueprint. It, has it has all the programs for everything. everything. And, and what we do in the physical world, we just play out those programs. programs. So, so in the physical, physical world, as you see it, it we, don't we don't really have a choice. choice. It's just, just a play back. back. You're, you're just running, running sequences. sequences. So, so if we are able to go to the spiritual world, we just, just look, look at all the programs. programs. So, so we can take a pattern, pattern for example, if you're like, you know, you're smoking, smoking or something like that. Like you can look at that pattern. pattern. It's, it's just a program. And you, you feel, feel the pattern, pattern. Okay, you, 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 you zoom, zoom in on it, you can see when it started, started how long it's been going on, from where you got, got it from, and why you're keeping it, and so on. So it's, it's a program, program and it has all these um, attachments around, around it as long as we need it. Can, 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 can you give us like, like, yeah, like an like example of, uh, you, know, you know, if you've done, done that, that, I don't know if smoking is real, something you've seen, but maybe give us an example, like what kind of attachments or... Um, things, things would be creating that pattern for, for someone. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. sure. So, for, for example, example, if um, if, if you grow up and someone say, say you're, you're ugly and it, and it hurts, hurts really hard, hard then, then that's, that's the program. program. It's, it's like, like a trauma-based trauma program sitting in that. So it's like, like <laughs> Get gets stuck, stuck in your mind and your body. So, so then, then it has this, this vibration all the time. If you zoom in, it's like, I'm, I'm ugly, ugly, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. I'm I'm ugly. ugly. That's, That's the signal of the program. And then, and then a, person a person who has this program has, has to leave it, have to counteract this program. So, so it's, it's like, like, okay, then, then he will create um, addiction, addiction to makeup. Or, or he will look at all these videos how to... Uh, make, make themselves, themselves more, more beautiful. Then. So it's just a whole range of behaviors, behaviors coming from, from this small uh, program that maybe, maybe, s- maybe, maybe a good friend or maybe not so good friend said, said when, when they were young. young. Uh, and, 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 and because, because people, people don't know how to fix, fix these programs, programs they, they instead create other programs to try, to try to fix the original program. program. Like, uh, like, like this. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, Carl, Carl Jung said, said 
Maybe, Maybe this is the line what you're saying. Neuroses is always a substitute for legitimate suffering. suffering. Which, which sound may, may be similar because in, in, in his world, in the psychology world, you have, have to feel the feelings and work through the energy. Do you, Do you have, have a different way you would recommend people resolve these trauma-based programs? No, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. What, what you need to do is look, look at it uh, and feel it. And then, and then you restore it to its natural, natural state. state. You just, you just sort of need to rewind the original incident. And when you have access to the energy body, like I do, then it's quite easy because you think of it and you see where it is and then you look at it. But uh, when we don't have access to this world, the blueprint, then it can be confusing. We don't know where it is. It's just there somewhere. But it is, yeah, like you said, Go, go into, into that, that feeling that, and, and to sort of sink into it. it. It's, it's painful, painful. So, so we don't want to, so, so we try to escape from it. But, but if we want to rewind, if we want to find our true stuff, stuff then, then we need to just go opposite, opposite. Go, go against the fear, into the fear. fear. And, and then, then it's, it's, it's fixed, it comes to the natural, natural state. Yeah, go for it, Cosmic. Hey, Sama. Um, my name is Cosmic. I'm really grateful that you're on the show today. I love what you're talking about with these frequencies and programs. Because it really is like a message can come through that you hear, that you take into yourself, and like you allow it to replay. And then it's sort of, it's like it. Um, it's, it's like, like a mind virus. virus. These different, different certain, certain messages or programs that run, they, they interfere, interfere with like our original energy signature. And, and then uh, I also love that you're talking about, about how you feel, feel it to heal it, it and you release it to return to your original state. state. And um, it's, it's really interesting, interesting because a lot of these programs do lead to addictions, addictions and other programs. programs. I like the one you brought up with like the... I'm, I'm ugly, ugly and, and then you, you, the, the person then becomes ex obsessed with like how to counteract that, that instead of to release the original programming. programming. And, and I, I think, think a lot of people, people are afraid um, to, to do that, that or they're not sure how. how. Um, like one strategy I've taught some, some of my, my clients is to write positive affirmations on a jar, a uh, jar that has the water they're going to drink for the day in. So, so if, if the program, program is um, ugly, ugly, they would write something like, like my beauty arises from within, I am powerful, I am lovely, I am pure, these, these type of things, things, and then they drink the water throughout, throughout the day to reprogram or release the negative programming. And, and I was curious what, what other activities, aside from feeling, feeling that, that maybe you, that that you learned, learned that are maybe, maybe useful practices, practices for people? Yeah. 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 So it's, so it's really, really about time and space. And to know where our bodies in the room, it's, uh, it's really important because we tend to escape from the body. If we had a difficult childhood, things like this, it's like our soul is actually outside of the body. And, and sort of maybe just a little, little bit hanging in the head. Uh, and, and this is not uncommon. Uh, so, to, to come into the, the body, and to, to come into the, the body, we need to heal all of those progresses. But, but to, to come into, into the body, it helps also to just see, okay, okay there, there is the window, window and, and here is my arm, arm. And, and there is the lamp, and here is my leg. These, These kind of things, things are really good for, for beginners. And, and funnily enough, if I forget more advanced, advanced we we'll just change to there is a painting, and here, here is my, my chakra, and there, there is a drum, and, and here is my emotional, emotional body, for example. So, so we have all these different layers of the energy body, right? And we can identify them, we can 
we can, we can know where they are in space, space if, if we are aware in the, in the room. So that's, that's something that's uh, not, not so, so common, common, but, but it's, it's very effective. effective. Would, Would you say, as a follow up to that, that if, if somebody's soul body or, or like spirit body, body has um, sort, sort of dissociated a bit or slightly out of alignment or slightly not fully integrated into their third dimensional, dimensional body, body, would you say that a mantra um, with, with visualization, visualization could also um, kind, kind of pull, pull their, their soul, soul body back into their physical body to like, like realign? Yeah, yeah, to some extent, extent. It, it can, can help. help. It's, the, the problem is often that the body, body is full of negative, negative patterns, patterns, right? So it's, it's like, because when, when you grow up, the family, family they, they treat you quite bad, badly, maybe, and then, and then the teachers, and then the workplace. So, so our, our body is sort of full of these negative, negative emotions. So, so the soul, soul sort of can't, can't fit, fit or it doesn't want to go in. in. So, so it, it takes, takes some kind of conscious, conscious effort to start, start to make room for the, for the soul, soul to come back into the body. body. So, so it's, it's not, not something we just can wish for, for, but we really need to go into those, those patterns and, and, and to rewind, rewind the pain, go into the pain, pain and, and then make it. Natural, natural state, state again. again. So to me, um, it sounds like when you mentioned programs, it sounds like belief systems uh, or people's beliefs. Is that correct? Like people can have a negative view of themselves or whatever, or that's like negative programming. All right. right yeah. yeah it's, for for me, me, it's two, two layers, layers of programming. Of programming. You can, you can call them hard-coded and soft-coded. So, so hard-coded is these deep, deep programs that uh, are harder to change. And soft-coded, this is the mental programming. Uh, so mental programs you can change easier. But the hard-coded ones, those are the ones you really need to face the pain. Did, did I or did I miss something? I should answer more. No, 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 no sorry. sorry. Um, we're gonna, gonna have to kind of edit, edit this part, you know, which, which is fine. fine. Um, but, but I didn't, I didn't actually know this. I don't have the pro, pro version of Zoom, so, so I just got, got a notification that the meeting is gonna end in ten minutes, which, which means somebody else is gonna have to start one, and we'll just you know splice the clips together and and just pick up the thread where we left it. Is that okay with you, Sam? So yeah, yeah. Um, should, should we do one, one more question? question where we can still have eight minutes? minutes or? Or? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I think, I think uh, uh, well, maybe Cosmic, do you want to take that question about frequencies? Yeah, yeah so, so when you were at the, the, the retreat for, 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 for silence, um, and, and you started seeing the, the frequencies and you said it was kind of scary, scary and wonderful, wonderful. Did, 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 did that, that look, look like, like um, sacred geometry, geometry like, like in, in nature, nature or uh, what, what did that look like to you and um, what, what happened, happened after that experience? Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, was, it, was, it was just this shift, shift from having a physical, physical body to, to everything, everything becoming frequencies. frequencies. So, so it, it was like, like uh, the switch, switch between my physical body and the energy body yes. just, yes. just flipped. So, so I, could, I could, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember if I felt, felt my physical body anymore, but it, but it was, was just everything was just frequencies. So, so it, it was just my, my energy, energy body then. So, so I felt the, the layers of the energy body. Yeah. And because, because this was the first time, time it was a shock. And I, I, I didn't know how to relate to it because, because I thought the world was quite, quite physical. physical. I thought it was physical. So, so I think, I think it was just this. This was very different feeling 
to, to not be able, able to feel my body, body but instead I felt all this very, 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 very strong, intense frequencies, like, like the chakras. chakras. But, but you know, at that time, I, I couldn't really, I couldn't see what was a chakra and what was not. So it was just like a bundle of just many, many frequencies in and out and everywhere. If that explains it. Yeah, yeah, so, so some people, people call that, that um, the well, they have different names for it. Like, like some people say it's a Kundalini experience, experience when the energy flows kind of up through all your chakras, chakras in, in that sort of that, that pattern of the that you see on the medical buildings, buildings where there's two snakes going, going up the pole. It's, it's like the energy flows up both sides of your brain and spine. Is that, is that kind of what it was? Like you felt the energy kind of flowing up to your body in a spiritual sort of way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the, the back was very strong, strong sort of like painful. painful. So, so yeah, it sounds like it. Did, did, sorry, did, did you say, say that, that after that, that it was kind of like life was hard or, or like that, that uh, I don't, I don't know, know, like it changed, changed everything about your life? life. Yeah, yeah, it changed, it changed everything, everything. Uh, because then I could feel frequencies. Everywhere. everywhere. So, so whoever I talked to, um, you, know, you know, I could feel what they felt. felt. I, could I could sort of hear, hear their thoughts. thoughts. So, so all, all the old friends, friends you know, family, family like, when, when I, I met them, I, I couldn't be like, like I was before because I could, I could see, see them now and everything from, from a very, very So, so they, they complained that I changed a lot, you know, that they can't recognize me. So... So, so it was, was a hard time because I was sort of pushed, pushed away. People, people couldn't uh, relate to what, what I was talking about. about. So, so I was pushed, pushed away from friends and family. family. Uh, and, and I didn't, I didn't feel, feel like doing the work I did before. The work I did before felt meaningless. So, so I, changed. I changed everything to align with what, what I felt was true. Uh, so, so I had to change everything again. People, people don't like change, change. <laughs> so it was a hard, hard, hard time, hard time yeah. So, so when, when you say, say here, I've, I've heard, heard this from other folks who have had similar and any kundalini type, type awakenings. It's, it's like they can, can almost read mind, hear thoughts, thoughts or, or see the history of uh, you, know, you know people. Was, was it? What was it, was it actually like? You know, if we were standing next to each other, are you actually hearing what I'm thinking in my head, or can, can you, you know, know my intentions? intentions? What, what, what was that, that like? And what is that like for you now? Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's like, like I can, I can feel, feel what, what people, people think. think. I, I think it's a little bit different, different from my thoughts. thoughts. It's, it's more, more like a feeling, a feeling rather than having, having double thoughts. thoughts. And, you know, you know now, now I'm used to it. it. It's, it's been 20 years. So it was... It was, it was uh, um, a long, long journey, journey. Uh, and now, now I feel comfortable in it, it being, being able to switch however, however I want to. And it's, it's you know, since, since I consider the world of frequencies the real world now, it's, it's the blueprint, blueprint, like I say. So, so it goes before the physical. So, so this means that I speak with people's energy body and then I maybe speak with them also in, in, in the real world. But for me, the communication that I have with them in my meditation is more important than what we, we will do with our physical bodies, if that makes sense. sense. Because it's, it's like conflicts and so on. It's, it's very, very hard to resolve, resolve conflicts, conflicts in the physical world because, because everyone is really stuck in their, their uh, beliefs. So, so then, then if someone, someone has a belief, belief and okay, okay, and then, then I go home and then I just go in and I, I, I shut with this energy, energy body and, you know, you know we, can we can be friends, friends there. there. And, and next, next time, time we meet, we, we are friends, friends because, because the blueprint was changed. changed. So, so confusion and mis misunderstandings can be much easier resolved in the spirit world, I want to say. 
So, so I operate, operate in, in that, that world, world and then I just see what happens in the physical world. The physical, physical world is sort of secondary, secondary. Similar, similar like, like the mind, mind is secondary. secondary. The mind, mind is just thoughts, thoughts running through. through. Have you, Have you seen interesting, interesting results from tampering, from tampering with the energy, energy body, body blueprint, blueprint world? world? Hmm. Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, everything is magic, magic all the time. time. With uh, synchronicities. And, and, I, mean, I mean, it's really like, like if, for, for example, example so, so if it's, it's like, like a business, business partner, partner or something like that, and, and then, then and uh, they are like a little bit skeptical, don't know, know what to do. do. And, and then, then I go into meditation, meditation I have a chat. chat. And, and then, then, you know, they, they just call me 10 minutes, minutes later and say, Oh, you know, I thought about, about, about you, you. Let's, let's go ahead with this project. project. Something like that, you know. Yeah, yeah that's great. great. I, think I think we'll, we'll probably... probably stop here just for now we got like a minute left um and, and then cosmic, cosmic is going to start the next, next room so, so thanks, thanks for being our first zoom call sam because usually we do them on twitter spaces but we're, we're thinking, thinking about doing more just on zoom just to make, to make it, it um, a little more confined because spaces you can bring in you know random, random speakers and all that so, so appreciate you hanging out with us while we're figuring this out a little yeah yeah i know Okay, okay, awesome. awesome. So... so